Bank and rolled out plans to equip public safety with a new facility. The city's three-step approach will also provide officers with state-of-the-art crime tracking software. Stephanie Bornman reports the new headquarters is actually going to save taxpayers money. John, the current public safety headquarters fits a staff of 60 people comfortably. But there's double that number of people working there. However, by this time next year, a new ADPS home base will solve overcrowding and decrease the turnover rate without raising taxes. They'll be up to four at a time sleeping in this tight area waiting for the fire alarm. We have uh, been busting at the seams, so to speak, in, in this facility for a while. Repurposing closets and testing the limits of space is the daily working conditions of the Aiken Public Safety staff. A study conducted by the city revealed these working conditions don't add up to an efficient or effective operation. While overcrowding has been a problem for years, a new headquarters is the solution Chief Charles Barranco and his officers have been waiting for. You know, when you're proud of a facility and uh, work, or continue to work as hard as these men and women work, I think it, they can make it something special. Walk exactly 1.7 miles from the old public safety headquarters and you'll end up here at the intersection of Buford Street and Wire Road. The mayor says that going with this building doesn't affect the safety ratings for the fire department and it also saves taxpayers lots of money. Because there's already an existing shell. Right. So if you were starting from scratch to build this building, I mean it would, I, I, we're still negotiating, working on, on numbers, but I, it's, it's going to save substantial millions. Mayor Rick Osmond says it will be renamed the J. Carroll Busby Public Safety Headquarters in honor of the former chief. While it won't include a holding facility, it will have plenty of office space, parking, and bigger quarters for firefighters. Of course, they have to have lockers, so all the lockers and everything for them to survive is all crammed into this one little tight space. And there's one single shower restroom facility. And so having those uh, upgrades for our officers not to take, you know, if we have a fire or something, they'll be able to wash off here instead of taking some of those uh, um, carcinogenics or whatever to their home. Nearly $2 million was raised through Capital Project sales tax to pay for upgrades to public safety. Once city leaders get those final numbers, they will be voting to allocate the necessary funds to pay for the structure. That could be sometime before the end of the month. Jenny, back to you.